Should you quit pre-med and trying to go to medical school altogether? Many pre-meds are shooting for the top medical schools, UCLA, John Hopkins, Harvard. At this point, with how competitive medical school admissions is, should you just drop out and pursue another avenue? I'm Mike. I trained at UCLA Medical School and am now an anesthesiology resident in New York City. I've helped thousands of pre-meds just like you get into their dream medical schools. So I know what makes for a strong pre-med student. And in this video, I'll talk about the things that I've noticed about pre-med students who are less sure about their path. The first thing to remember about being a medical student is that debt is serious. For most pre-meds, you will most likely be going into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt to pay for medical school. For example, for four years at Johns Hopkins with room and board and tuition and transportation, you're looking at $360,000 total. And while certainly a physician's salary can help you repay that outstanding amount of debt, most pre-meds don't understand just how long it's going to take to repay everything. You'll have to live below your means throughout your seven to 12 years of being a trainee and likely your first five to 10 years of being an attending. In total, this entire journey may take 12 to 20 years to repay in total. And certainly by the time you're mid-career, perhaps in the mid 40s and onwards, you'll be enjoying a upper middle class lifestyle. But before then, you'll certainly be living far below those means. The second reason to reconsider whether medicine is right for you is remembering why you're doing it in the first place. For a significant amount of pre-meds, going into medicine is a decision made out of pressure from their parents. Deciding to spend seven to 12 years training because your parents coerced you to do so is a misguided way of making decisions. I promise you, the second you put on a white coat doesn't suddenly make all of those decisions worth it. If you currently harbor resent towards your parents or anyone who's pushing you to go into medicine, those feelings will only grow over time. And so while it is important to consider your parents and your other loved ones' opinions, that cannot be the driving reason you apply to medical school. A third reason to reconsider medicine is if you don't actually like working with people. In modern society, sometimes doctors get a bad reputation for not actually caring for their patients. And while I'm sure there are certain situations that show bad judgment, by and large, doctors do everything they can to support people. Even when it's highly inconvenient, patients are yelling straight to your face and your work is not being appreciated. And if you think that maybe you'll just be a doctor to become an anesthesiologist or a radiologist or a pathologist and never have to work with patients or people again, that's also a misguided understanding of the profession. As an anesthesiologist, we have to build relationships with patients in the three to five minutes of conversation we have prior to the operating room. Radiologists and pathologists talk all day with their techs and other physicians to convey what they're seeing and how that all affects the patient's management. Being a doctor is one of the most social professions, and while you don't have to be an extrovert, you should enjoy and work well with other people. Hey, so this video is a lot about reflecting about your reasons to go into medicine. And of course, one of the largest reasons you should reconsider going into medicine is if your application is not competitive enough and you don't want to put in the effort to make it competitive enough. If you want to see how you're doing now compared to other pre-meds who have gotten accepted, the best way to do that is to look at real full medical school applications. We have eight of them in our application database pre-meds who got into schools like UCSF and UCLA. Always free, available in the link in our description box below. The next reason you should reconsider going to medical school is if you're allergic to hard work. Medicine is a very tough job. And of course, med school is a totally different ballpark than high school and college and high school and college combined. In med school, work ethic can be often more important than intelligence. In many cases, much of medicine is straight, pure memorization. Past that, residency requires you to work long hours and be on your feet and be on your best behavior, even when nothing is going your way. For me, that means putting in ultrasound guided IVs at 3 a.m. in the emergency room where everything is loud, overwhelming, and just tiring. Staying that focused is hard, and I believe that many pre-meds can get here. But I do wanna stress that it is difficult and not everyone wants that type of life. And if you aren't looking for a career that's that stressful, it doesn't make you any less of a person. It's totally okay to want to work less and not sacrifice so much of your youth. 
with so many other fantastic options like remote tech jobs nowadays, work-life balance in medicine is far lower than most other careers. And so while it's difficult to understand how important work-life balance is to you later down the road, at the very least, you can spend time today to reflect on whether or not you feel like you are willing to give up 10 to 15 to 20 years of a far lower work-life capacity. Next, if you're not interested in science, you will not like being a doctor. Yes, I no longer do stoichiometry problems or use SN2 organic chemistry reactions, but every single day my job involves applying the science and the foundations of physiology. I can't tell you how many pre-meds I've had calls with who are so excited for the day where they no longer have to use any science. As if medicine is just people's skills and working with your hands. Science is an integral part of everything that we do and it will always be. And so if you aren't really enjoying those courses, there's a chance you may not like physiology, anatomy, or pathophysiology either. There are many things to consider when figuring out your pre-med journey. And if you feel like you're struggling, you're not the only one. Pre-Med Catalyst's mentorship program was built and designed exactly for pre-meds, just like you, trying to figure out the best decisions on the way to earning a white coat. If you want support for major decisions in your pre-med journey, and that sounds helpful, check out the link in our description box below to find out more about our mentorship program. The last point to consider about medicine is just how much of an emotional burden it brings into your life and into your home. There's absolutely no sugarcoating it, but it's not normal for us to be exposed to life and death so often, especially compared to the rest of people in society. Eventually, you will become desensitized to death, and eventually you will encounter heartbreaking situations where you will cope in unhealthy ways. You will take care of patients that remind you of your dad and mom and uncle and aunt. You'll be front and center when you see five supervising doctors that you respect most do everything they can and the patient will still not make it. There is a hopelessness and powerlessness to medicine at times, and that emotional burden can be too much. And of course, as hard as it is, you will also be on the other end of the spectrum where you make a real difference for people. You'll support them at their most vulnerable times, and when you see them at their lowest point, you'll also see them discharged from the hospital, going home in the healthiest state they've ever been. These extremely vulnerable situations, which can go either way, more often not well than well, well, in my opinion. And so if you feel like those emotional circumstances will be too much for you to handle over decades and decades, that's totally understandable and is a good reason to reconsider medicine. The biggest reason you may have to reconsider medicine, however, is not being competitive enough. If you're not ready and you need more time to think things over or you need a gap year to firm up your application, you should reconsider whether going through with medical school is the right move. Take your application's competitiveness very seriously because getting in in and of itself is extremely difficult. And if any of these other reasons are also apparent in your life, then that may be more than enough cause to reconsider whether doing this in the first place is right for you. But if you are committed to medicine and you recognize the risks and all the benefits that come with being a doctor, then you'll certainly enjoy all the content we have here on how to be as competitive as possible. Thank you for taking this time to take your career seriously. We're here to help however we can. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.